Hi, so the last version of Google Home actually took away one very important feature, which was being able to play music remotely. So I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to turn off my Wi-Fi. So I'm actually on the cellular system. So you see that I have the 5G right there. And I'm going to now bring up my Google Home. And you'll notice I have a few hubs. I have my bedroom hub. That's my normal Google Hub. I have a Philips Google Hub here for my living room. And then I also have a study speaker, which is just a Google speaker. Now this works, this method is a workaround that works for all of this. So uh, if you notice, I go into my living room hub and what ends up happening is um, there is no, there's actually no way to play music, which kind of sucks. So I am going to show you a workaround for that. So the way, the workaround for that is actually to create an automation. So if I go into automation, and I scroll all the way down, you'll notice I have created an automation that says start music routine and then also stop music routine. So now I have this particular button here. When I start my routine, the music's actually going to start playing. So you could see when I push that button, the music right there is starting to play. And I could also stop the music remotely now. So I'm going to stop. I hit stop and it actually stopped and it's just showing my photos. So that's the awesome part about this is, um, so let me do that again. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to play the music. And when I tap on play, this is going to turn on and keep in mind, I am on cellular right now. So right now, I am going to go into my Google Hub, so I'm going to go into Devices, and it's actually the Living Room Hub here, and I'm going to pause it, and now you can see I could control it remotely, and keep in mind right there, I am on 5G, or cellular, and I could even skip tracks now, so I could play, I could skip tracks, but it doesn't show me the the uh, basically the song that's being played. So that's an unfortunate aspect of it. Now if I want to pause here and I go back, let, let me just go step by step on actually how to create the automation. So going down here to the automation, I'm gonna click on the ad at the bottom. So for example, if I scroll all the way down, Usually it's up at the top. I'm gonna to scroll all the way down and I'm gonna do the add automation button, which is just the add button right here. And when the add button's right there, it'll give you, you wanna share this automation with the household or just personal. Lots of times it doesn't matter. Um, if, if you have household, it's gonna show up in everyone's phone within your household. But I'm just gonna choose personal. And now it's gonna ask you for the starter. So in my case, I'm going to choose the starter and I'm going to actually choose a specific time. You have to choose a starter. So what I did was I chose a specific time and then I, I just unchecked all of these and then I'll say play it at 730. So I'll play it at 7 a.m. And then I'll also set another starter that says stop the music at 7 a.m. So I'm going to hit set. And now, now I'm going to add a starter. So, or I'm going to add an action. And it, the action has a bunch of choices here. I'm going to add the media choice, which is down here, play and control media. So let, let me just go back. I'm going to say play and control media, and I'm going to choose music. But you could choose news, you could choose radio. And I'm just going to have... Uh, like the, the phrase that I'm actually going to say. So before, um, for my playlist, I'll say, uh, I'll, I'll type out, you know, play my YouTube music playlist, favorite playlist. Uh, so that's what I typed in. And let me just go back. And then after you do that, when you're choosing the speaker, it's all the way down here. 
you know, so, so, or the device is all the way down here. So, so that's where you want to choose your device. So just keep that in mind that, um, you know, so, so after you choose your starter, which is a particular time or a command that is spoken or, or whatever other method there is. So there's various other methods. So after you choose the starter and after you choose the action, you do want to choose the device it's acted upon, which is in the bottom. Whoops, I uh, pushed the wrong button here. Um, but which is at the bottom right here, you know, the device that you want it to act, activate on. You could choose the other action, which will stop the music like at 7.01 a.m. or maybe just 7.30 a.m. You know, so, so if I go back to my other my other automations where I stop and stop the music you'll see my action here is stop music so my action for for stopping the music is just the ki kind of the phrase that I'll say and then the one to start the music is actually, you know, play my favorite playlist. And then it'll tell you, and then in under music settings, it'll ask you, you know, which one it is. So you might have Spotify, you might have YouTube Music, iHeartRadio, you know, stuff like that. And then once you create the automation, you could actually start it and stop it on demand. So once again, I'm gonna start it by pushing the play on demand. And you'll notice it starts playing right there. And what I'm going to do now is I am going to go into the devices once again. So, so this is my living room hub. And I'm, I'm going to pause the music because I, I, don't want to get, I don't want to get a copyright infringement on my video that I'm creating here. But you notice you, you could do the next track. And when you do the next track, you could go back to the previous track and then the next track. Um, and then also you could do volume, you know, so, so you could adjust volume like that. Um, but likewise, if I, if I go into automation again, I could stop the music, you know, so to edit it, you, you push this right here, but to play it, you have to push the play button or to activate it. So I'm actually going to stop my automation and you'll notice it stops. So, so that's the workaround for doing this, and it's not bad. You know, it's, it's, um, you know it mimics the previous behavior. It's a shame that they took it away. Um, you know, the more straightforward method, it kind of sucks that they did that, but hey, um, at least you're able to mimic it by using automations here. Um, now, I did do the start and stop, because just in case this automation kicks off, um, and I forget to manually stop it, it's going to play, I think it's going to play nonstop, or usually it'll play for like three hours, and then it'll ask, do you want to continue? Um, and then maybe it'll just stop automatically, but just in case it doesn't do that, I have the second automation to stop the music. So just, just stopping the music and, um, you know, half an hour later. Um, but once again, this gives me the same equivalent functionality as the... <laughs> you know, the, the previous uh, version of Google Home. But yeah, I mean, it's a serious shame that, that they actually took that straightforward feature away and you have to use this method. Alrighty, um, so once again, uh, what I mentioned before was that this works on all of the different types of Google Hubs. Uh, so I have the, the speaker, so it, work, it works on the speaker, it works on the uh, Google Hub. All right, that's really it. I hope this helped and please subscribe and thank you so much for watching.